I heard a famous quote once. Win or learn, I never fail. I never once fail. I've never failed in my entire life. I've learned. So if you want to tell me that you failed or you're failing or you're scared, or scared of failure, you've already made a huge mistake. You do not fail. You learn. And even more than that, you pay tuition. A lot of times we think tuition is going to college for an education, paying them thousands and thousands of dollars to take a class that you're not going to remember any of the facts from just so that you can run this rat race to get a piece of paper at the end that says you completed it. But the truth is, when you're done with paying tuition there, you're going to come back to life and you're going to pay life tuition. You're going to start a business and you're going to fail. You're not going to know how to run a computer program that's going to run the financial background of your business. You're not going to know how to go on a first date and actually, you know, not be nervous and succeed and be charming and be a gentleman. You're not going to know how to balance your financials so that when you start actually getting good paychecks, you're not going to go blow it all. That's tuition. That's life's tuition. So you didn't fail when you didn't figure that out. When you went on that first date and you absolutely blew it with that cute girl that you really, really wanted to impress and be with, that's okay. You didn't fail. That's not a failure. You don't come back and say, oh, I'm not going on a date again. That's just, uh, that's not going to work out for me. No. You learn from it. You pay tuition. That heartbreak, that pain, that frustration, shake it off. Move on. You learn and try again. It's okay. Everything is going to work out as long as you keep working hard. And that's what's important. A lot of people don't see that. And I think that's a, a big problem in our society right now is that we're so scared to try to succeed because we already set ourselves up because we think we're going to fail. We don't realize that we're just paying tuition to get to the success that we desire so much that we don't even try. And then we depend on our government to you know, come up with some kind of program to help us out or, uh, you know, college is so expensive. I, you know, it's got to be cheaper. Somebody needs to do something about that. Or I can't, you know, make an excuse. Well, I can't go to college or I can't uh, start my own business or I can't ask her on a date because you already have all this failure set up in your mind. If you start in the right mindset that says you're not going to fail, you're going to learn, you're going to figure it out that you have a God that loves you more than anything in this world and is going to do whatever it is to give you what you need to get through it, then you're on your way to success. So this is the first of many video blogs that I'm going to you know, try to try to tell you guys about some things that I've learned that um, changed my life completely. I'll tell you a little bit of my story as we go through. but. Um, I'm going to reference a lot to Zig Ziglar, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Steve Harvey, uh, Steve Jobs. I mean, many of the greats that, that I've had the pleasure to uh, research into and look into and, and take some of the teachings and form it into my own. And hopefully that I'm going to be able to help somebody out here as well. So uh, just stay up to date. I, I think I'm going to try to do one once a week and, and we'll see where it goes. But right now, what I want you to do is separate pleasure from happiness. I want you to really start thinking about that. I want you to choose happiness over pleasure, and I want you to define it. I want you to take a piece of paper and tell me what's giving you pleasure and what's bringing you happiness. And I want you to choose what you really want. A lot of times people associate those as the same, and I want you to know right now that they're absolutely different. They're not even close to being the same thing. And if you're choosing pleasure more than you're choosing happiness, you are missing out on life, man. You're not even in the ball game. So I need you to choose happiness. So what's pleasure? Drugs? Sex? Sleeping with somebody? that's not bringing you the kind of relationship and love that you truly are desiring. Sporting events that you're not gonna know who the hell won that game in three years from now. Going to bars with friends that aren't bringing you anything but down. 
nobody encouraging you, no positive incentive, no pick you up or accountability, nobody bringing any kind of any kind of responsibility to your life that's going to help you get to where you really want to go. That's pleasure, man. Those things are great. Yeah, it's fun to go to a bar. We love watching sporting events. Sex is fantastic. Drugs, of course. You know, that's why people are hooked on them all the time. But none of that shit is going to bring you the kind of success that you truly desire in your life. So let's take a look at happiness. Love. Joy. Peace. Nature. Music. Learning a new instrument. Becoming a mentor. Volunteering. Helping somebody. Starting a charity. Philanthropy. I mean, that's just, that's just on the surface, you know, of just things that I kind of just pulled out of, you know, thin air. That is the kind of stuff, though, that's going to bring you the kind of life that you truly want. That is what you want. You don't want to go sleep with a bunch of different random people. You want the spouse that you love, that you love more than anything, that when you see her, your heart glows. That's the kind of life that you want. And it's time to define that shit and put all the child stuff away and grow up. I don't care if I'm talking to a 50-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 30-year-old. Life is not over until it's over, and you can always change. That's the beautiful thing about life is God didn't give us new days to start over. He gave us new seconds. So right now, you just got a new second, and you can change your life at this very moment. So define what's pleasurable to you and what's happiness. Choose which one you really want. Choose where you can cut out the things that you don't really want. Define your goal on what you really want to do. It doesn't have to be a tangible car and house and a supermodel wife and um, you know all the other fancy things, the luxuries and, and boats and this and that. Now it can be. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm all for that. I believe that you know, those things were created and for us to enjoy and to strive after that is perfect. I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. But I also think that for a lot of people, it's going to have to start with the things on the inside if you want to change the outside, such as drugs, alcohol, finding the love of your life. loving yourself more, getting healthy, losing weight, finding a new job or career that actually fulfills you. Those are the things as well that you can strive for. And I want you to figure out what your big goal is. You know, If your goal is to love yourself more, if your goal is to have a better relationship with God, if your goal is to lose weight, if your goal is to get a million dollar mansion, if your goal is to have a new fancy sports car, that's all okay. I just want you to define it and then we'll move on to the next step. And I want you to define your why. So, so far, I want you to take a piece of paper and separate the pleasurable things from the happy, from the happy things. Choose which one you really want and see where we can cross out some of the pleasurable things that aren't working for you right now. I want you to define your goal on what you really want out of life. And you know what? Don't it doesn't have to be one thing. It doesn't have to just be the boat or the house or whatever. You know, sit there and write out your entire life what it would look like. And start with the phrase, I am so happy and grateful now that boom, because that's already saying that you have it. You've already accepted that you have it. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have boom. And then write it all out. The woman of my dreams the career of my dreams and be specific, you know, uh, running a $30 million company uh, with employees that look up to me. I'm a role model in church and I do this and that and I have this car and I have this house. Where's it located at? What's it look like? How's the grass? I want you to be as specific as you can. Write it all down, everything. I've lost 30 pounds and I love myself and I get up every morning at 4 a.m. and go to the gym and people compliment me on how well I do and I encourage others at the gym now that I'm doing better and I'm getting healthier and I'm over my sickness and I have two kids that love me. 
write it all out and be as specific as you can because this is your life, this isn't anybody else's life, so they can't make these decisions for you. It's gotta be you that's gonna do it. And I want you to do it. And you deserve it, and you're worthy of it. And we're gonna go through all these steps the, the more that we go on, but, um, you know, you're loved. You're loved by you, you're loved by a lot of people around you, whether you know it or not, and you're loved by a Godfather that loves you more than absolutely anything. When you were created, you were already told that you were a beautiful masterpiece. So we're gonna do a lot of things here in the rest of this video log that's gonna help you accept and learn and love that moving forward. And we're gonna get you to where you wanna be. So defining your why is going to have a lot to do with why do you want these things? We've already said that what you want, you've created this life on a piece of paper that says what you want. Why? What's it for? Is it just to show off to people? Is it just for bragging rights? Or do you really want this career for self-fulfillment, for love, to help others? If you can start there, if you can come up with whatever you want to do good for others, you're doing great. I'm a firm believer that the highest paid jobs are the jobs that help people the most. You find a way to help somebody, they're gonna find a way to pay you. You find a way to help somebody more, they're gonna find a way to pay you more. And that's what we're here to do. So thanks for listening and I'll see you guys next time.